Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video. Have you ever wondered how much life is left in your laptop's battery or your tablet's battery? And you were wondering, okay, well, you know, I've been using it for a year and a half or in my case, the battery is over three years old now. And you're wondering, well, of course, you could notice that, you know, with months and years, the battery holds less charge. But in Windows, you can actually have a report. Unfortunately, it would have been nice that Windows has its own little report that you can click on. It's not as easy as that, but it's not that complicated. So here goes. You right click on your start button. And by the way, whatever version of Windows you're, you're using, this works always the same as long as you know how to go to the command prompt. So you right click in Windows 10 to go to the command prompt administrator very important you have to be administrator click yes here in the command line I will paste the command normally you should write what you see here power CFG space uh, forward slash battery report space forward slash output and uh, then finally have this uh, here now the thing is I copied and pasted this because it was easier than to write it. So what I'll do is uh, this command will be in the description below the video. So what you could do is simply go over it, right click to copy it and paste it in your own um, command prompt window. So once you do that, press enter. It says battery life report save to see battery report.html so that means this file here battery report has been recorded on my C drive so once that is done you go into your file explorer you go into your this PC go into your C drive here if you look at the C drive at the bottom it says battery report it's an HTML file so it will have the logo of your uh, web browser that you use simply double click on it and here goes you've got your battery report so it tells you all the details of your uh, computer brand computer name the BIOS date it gives you the operating systems that you have and so on now when you continue it says type of battery you have now that's the first big information you got is here its design capacity so in my case, the battery's capacity design is 48,600 um, milliwatt hour or 48.6 watt hour. But it says here, full charge capacity, 34,668. That means that now, after being used for a long time, I have 34,600 left when I'm in full charge instead of 48,000. And which is normal as you use your battery with time this count this charge or full charge capacity will of course get lower some of you might have a cycle count uh, it depends on the battery some batteries don't have that information like the one I have here and then you have a report of recent usage uh, how many you know how much time you used it without uh, being plugged in and where the battery was after that time so for example here if I look here it says I used it uh, for a while here 17 minutes these are uh, by the way uh, minutes seconds I believe no but well no start time these are hours sorry um, okay it's really just a start time unfortunately there's no information about how much time it took for it to reach a certain level though so um, these are the reports you have another graphic battery drain over the last three days then you've got once again the duration and the energy drained in that little time and this one is fun because it tells you okay I've used it say here I've used it 52 minutes in 20 seconds here it says that I've uh, gone down to I drained 45 percent of my battery so it's a uh, very interesting or basically it I was at 45 percent so I drained 55 in reality uh, this is where you were when you actually stopped using the battery and so on 
So it's interesting to see here all the information. So here it says, for example, that I've used it. Um, here the report's kind of incomplete. It's kind of weird the way it is, but uh, so you know you get the drift of all the information you get in here, um, a report and all. You have the battery capacity history, so it tells you. For example, on uh, January 29th, my capacity was 35,068. Uh, as of uh, February 2nd, I'm at 34,680. So the battery is slowly, um, you know, going away, basically. And it tells you first, at the end, complete end, is the battery life estimate. So it tells you in a full design capacity, I would have normally 2 hours and 37, 37 minutes, 44 seconds active. But I got one hour, 53 minutes, and 49 because of the design capacity, which is uh, not as good as it was before. But it's a very full report. It's very interesting to look at if you're not really sure, um, you know, where you are at with your batteries. If you have more than one battery for your laptop or tablet, uh, check them out. It's really, really cool to have this battery report. Don't forget, I will, of course, post the command line text in the description below the video so that you can copy and paste it if you want to test it or else simply be patient and start typing um, power CFG and that little command up to the dot HTML at the end if you just type it exactly as you see it here it should uh, work fine so that was the little tips and tricks video how to create a battery report in Windows 10 and like I said, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, this works. So uh, check it out. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, maybe you have a video you'd like me to make, please ask. I will be happy to make the video for you.